Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware certification VCP 6.5 data center virtualization training video and this is number 20 video in this series and in this video I'm going to show you how to add data store in DRS storage cluster in VCP 6.5 so in last video we have created one DRS data storage which is uh, going to be uh, in my domain uh, basically in my data center India here you can see which we have created in last video so DS cluster underscore prod hyphen noida and this uh, cluster storage like data store having three independent um, data stores which is DRS storage 1 2 and 3 so the this uh, uh, DRS storage cluster uh, is a group of three storage so now what I'm going to do I'm going to move this uh, DS hyphen standalone 01 and join this st um, data store here in this uh, data store cluster so let's do it so in last video we have created DRS cluster and this video I'm going to add independent like standalone dat data store to a data store cluster so let's get in so this is my uh, demo environment which I have in this video so this is the same environment which we have used since last few videos so there was four servers so the first machine is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory and DNS server the IP address of my domain control is 192.168.0.201 and my domain name is victorinfosol.local so let's verify so here you can see my Active Directory and DNS serv services are running if I go to local server you can see win2k12 dc01 and this is my domain name victorinfosol.local and this is IP address of my domain controller 192.168.0.201 so this is my domain controller and the second machine which we have is our vCenter server which having uh, vCenter 665 uh, hostname and the IP address is configure 192.168.0.202 and role of this machine is vCenter and I have assigned 12 gig of memory to this machine and this is joining my uh, domain which is victorinfosol.local so let's check so here is my uh, vCenter 65 and if I go here you can see vCenter 65 and my domain name victorinfosol.local and this is my uh, ethernet IP address of this server which is 192.168.0.202 so now I have VMware we spare web client on this machine so I'm going to connect to my vSpare and I'm going to sign in as my logged in user and till the time it's loading we can move to ESXi so I have two ESXi hosts and both these storage uh, basically a storage which is coming from learns which is coming from storage this data store are mapped with both uh, uh, ESXi host which is ESXi01 and ESXi02 so let's check out so I have two ESXi both are running uh, VMware ESXi 6.5 and the IP address is 192.168.0.211 for management and the second is ESXi02 so here you can see this is ESXi02 and this is also running VMware ESXi 6.5 and you can see from here the IP address is 192.168.0.212 which is for management so we have two ESXi both are having 32 gig of memory and two processors in the last few, few videos we have already added this uh, ESXi host in this uh, cluster which we have created and if I go here and prod hyphen noida and go to data store you can see what data store we have and here you can see data store cluster so these three data st st uh, DRS storage 01, 02 and 03 is participating in DRS cluster so what we ha uh, in this video we have tasked to add this uh, this DS st standalone 01 to this cluster so before doing this I'm going to click on this uh, basically you can go and delete data store 
so I'm going to select this data store and from action make sure before deleting you don't have anything on uh, data store left which is going to cause issue so I'm just going to double verify on a summary then I'm going to click on files and you can see these files are okay we can go ahead and delete this so now I'm going here again on my data center and going to select this uh, data store and you can also verify from here the free space and capacity so now we are good to go ahead and delete this so I'm going to click on delete data store and this is showing the operation will permanently delete all the files associated with the virtual machine on this data store so you have to make sure you don't left uh, you, you have not left any file which is being used or which is important for you or uh, having VM VMDK files VM configuration anything in that data store you have to make sure those files are uh, uh, kept in safe data store and uh, data store is completely free so this is good delete the selected data store yes so I'm going to click confirm so now you can see remove data store is running for DS standalone 01 so it's going to remove soon so now you can see remove data store completed and process VMFS data store update is also done so now you can see data store has been gone from here and now if I go back and click on new data store you will see that learn is going to be available because uh, we have deleted this data store so it's going to be free so location India click next and volume we are going to create VMFS volume and then select any of the host then you will see this disk is here which we have just deleted I'm going to call it like DRS hyphen storage hyphen zero zero and click next now I'm going to select VMFS volume uh, 6 version 6 and going to assign full capacity and click finish so now you will see create VMFS is completed and now the data store is available here so now if I go to data store cluster you will see we have one cluster which having uh, full capacity for uh, 52 gig and now I'm going to add this standalone uh, which we have deleted from standalone to this DRS storage 00, zero. I'm going to add this so click on this and then go to data stores here you can see what we have I'm going to right click and then go to settings so since you are going to add more storage if you wish to change any configuration here you can go and change the settings like uh, if you want to like change the parameters you can come here and always you can change the settings like uh, percentage or whatever thing you want to change it so now what I'm going to do I'm going to click here and list available data store in the data uh, data center can be added to data store cluster so now if you click there you will see all the data store is going to be uh, display here so now I'm going to select my uh, DRS iPhone store is 00, 00 which I want to add and just click on OK. Now you can see that a storage has been moved to here and if I now go to summary you can see total data store is 4 which is good and the capacity has been also increased. So now capacity has been increased and now if you go to host you can see this is mapped with both the uh, virtual machine both the host basically in our cluster which is prod so this is looking good and we have all the data store available in these uh, uh, this particular cluster and this is for data store which is uh, coming from data store cluster which we have just created so this is good thing and if you go here you can see what uh, what uh, like what uh, is having free space in these uh, storage and what is consumed so both uh, we having two virtual machines I guess one is uh, running from here data store 2 sto storage 0 2 and one is running from storage 0 3 so this is good 
so this is all about how you can create DRS cluster uh, storage cluster and how you can add additional data store in uh, basically DRS storage cluster and v uh, VMware v vSpace 6.5 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye